Okay, this is a video of a patient's right shoulder. We'll be looking at the biceps tendon. So this is the humeral head, and as we roll down, okay, so what we're picking up here, this white circle there, that's the biceps tendon, and all this uh, black signal around it is inflammation. So again, that's the biceps. This is all inflammation around the biceps tendon, indicating biceps tendonitis. The biceps has two tendons coming up proximally towards the shoulder. One of them actually goes inside the shoulder, and we call that the long head of the biceps tendon. Many people don't realize that it goes in the shoulder joint, and it can be a source of pain. Sometimes the biceps tendon will be inflamed, what we call tendonitis, and sometimes it'll actually be torn. Now, biceps tendon pathology or problems with the biceps very often are seen together with other shoulder problems, like a rotator cuff tear. This is an arthroscopic view of a shoulder, and here we are looking at the biceps tendon that has the red stars on it, and we could put a probe in and pull the biceps tendon in, and this is a normal looking biceps. This is an arthroscopic view of the biceps tendon. We have our probe pulling the biceps tendon in, and here you could see the fraying and the tearing of the biceps tendon, and this is a patient who would have lots of pain from these torn fragments. People with biceps problems very often will have pain in the front of the shoulder. Very often they'll have pain if we touch the biceps. And in some occasions, the biceps tendon can actually rupture spontaneously. And then there'll be a deformity, what we call a Popeye deformity, because the muscle falls down and it looks like Popeye from those old cartoons. There are images of a patient who has an acute rupture of their proximal biceps. You can see the deformity and the ecchymosis. And then here's another patient with a more chronic deformity, and you can see the Popeye feature of the biceps tendon. Treatment for biceps tendonitis usually is rest and ice, modifying activity. Sometimes physical therapy can be helpful, and sometimes a cortisone shot can also be very helpful. Now, in some situations where they biceps is completely ruptured into that Popeye deformity, very often we will just leave it because it doesn't functionally change the shoulder and surgery is often not needed. Unfortunately, sometimes pain from the biceps can be chronic and not go away despite all these non-surgical treatments that we've discussed. In those situations, surgery may be indicated. So what do we do in the surgery? So there's basically two options. One is something called a tenotomy, where we cut out the damaged or torn tissue from the shoulder, and then the biceps will slide down a little bit, and some patients, if they're very thin, that you will be able to see a little bit of a difference on this side compared to the non-surgical side. The other option is something called a tenodesis, where we remove again the torn fragment from inside the shoulder, and then we repair and fix the tendon outside the shoulder joint to keep the normal contour. In either case of these surgeries, usually the strength and function is exactly the same. It's more cosmetic, and occasionally people may feel like they have less cramping uh, if it's surgically prepared in the tenodesis. If you are having shoulder pain and would like to see me, then click up here to make an appointment. If you'd like to learn more about rotator cuff tears, then click down here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel to learn more about orthopedics and sports medicine, then click on this icon over here.